What's up cinephiles? Welcome to Screen Kings. For today's video, I'll be talking about an indie Polish Netflix thriller called Prime Time. Directed by Jakub Piatek, this one is set on 1999, a New Year's Eve when a young armed man enters and hijacks a TV station, takes two hostages, and demands a message to be delivered on air live. Now, who is this guy and what does he really want? This movie does not answer these two questions in the way that you wanted them to be, so I feel like this is gonna be a polarizing one. But before I continue with this review, I invite you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do so by hitting that subscribe button for weekly reviews of movies and TV shows. And while you're at it, give this video a like because it really helps the channel. Now, this is one of those thriller films that is shot on one location and I feel like you've probably seen those types of thrillers and the most important thing is maintaining that level of tension. Right from the get-go, the director here, the way he set it up, first five minutes, the hostage already takes place, so you were already on that suffocated mode. The director here really utilized the space, that confined space, and by the middle part, the tension kind of levels out and Admittedly, it does sag a bit and it's kind of expected when it comes to these movies that there's gonna be some waiting game and the thing that makes this movie compelling in those low tension moments is the main actor here which is Bartosz Bielenia. You might have been familiar with this actor if you've seen the Oscar nominated foreign film called Corpus Christi and in here he proves that he can elevate any material that's his given regardless that this one is thinly characterized and a lot of vague motivations from this character. What I also like about this performance is it's not your stereotypical unhinged man with a gun going to maniacal behavior using a lot of uncontrolled anger. No, he's still hostile, he's still a bit confused but you can see layers to this character. You can see that this one is coming from a place of hurt, that you want to help him, that he's somehow a wounded soul and you know more than anything he wants to be heard, he wants attention. So I think the actor here does a great job in separating himself from the common hostage takers that we know. Another merit that I'm gonna give for this film is that it's unpredictable. Normally when it comes to this thriller films, as I've said the second part lags a bit when it comes to energy and tension, then you would expect that the third act would kick into its high gears of some thriller action, but no. It kind of subverts your expectations and that is something of a con when it comes to a casual movie goer because you might be used for that certain formula and you might be let down to realize that that is not going to happen here. But personally, as a cinephile, I respect that they managed to sidestep some of the general trappings here and they just want to make something that's different from the common hostage films that you're gonna see. So the thing that's different here is it does not rely on blatant exposition. I feel like some of these movies, they would have to rely on laying out the motivations of the character, not in here. It has too much vagueness. And when you're that type of viewer who wants nuance, get your mind thinking on what's the angle of the hostage taker here. This might be for you though, I have to say sometimes it's too ambiguous to a fault that it actually works as a detriment to the film. And that's what happened here. I feel like there are some bare bones here of a masterpiece, but it ultimately failed because I needed that full picture characterization. And you really need to pay attention because there are some undertones here that kind of tells what this character is going through. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Y2K scare and that is something that's evident back in 1999. I was a kid back then so obviously I'm not aware with these things but if you research that phenomenon it led to a lot of societal unrest. We get a lot of clips here of the youth talking about their future and they don't seem to be really happy or looking forward to it and the same for different demographics that are featured in the throughout the movie and um, I feel like that's when a time that I realized that this character here our main guy here is the stand-in character for all the social political anxiety that the whole country is feeling so in terms of capturing the milieu I think the movie does that but in terms of giving a defined root cause of this I don't think the movie 
did a great job on that. Of course, I'm trying to think things through in hindsight, but if I'm going to reach out, I feel like this movie is trying to say that the rotten system, specifically on the police or the mass media, is that invisible force that pushes broken people like our main guy here to do bad things. That you know these two big institutions they don't really care for the voices of the unheard people there's just this overwhelming sense of unsatisfaction that is possessed by the movie i know i'm talking as vague as i can because i can't really spell out what everything happens and frankly this movie is just as vague as it goes and that might be a letdown for some because this movie tries to give you false expectations of what's going to happen and then by the end there's seemingly a little payoff and then when things are starting to get more interesting it already ended so i don't think that the movie nailed what it's trying to say and honestly that's a shame because i was waiting for some big revelation here that never came the way i wanted them to be these themes that are shown throughout the movie they fail to make any link especially to some of the characters because the two characters here the hostages are a bit thinly written in my opinion the tv host here clearly represents the narcissistic and egoistic tv personalities then we have here a security guard who i wish i get to learn more because he does some questionable decisions here and the both of the actors did really great job but they can only take that script to whatever they can because it doesn't offer much deep of an insight and it feels like we have an incomplete story here the movie should have grasped its opportunity to say something about the turn of the millennium especially that this is the era before the age of the modern social media i think it could have been darker but evidently this material that they have it feels stretched for a 90 minute movie i feel like this could have been done as a tv episode and speaking of tv episode it does remind me of a black mirror episode called smithereens while that episode was panned by the critics because of simplistic messaging here primetime goes on the opposite spectrum by giving something vague and ambiguous and in the end it's up to you to make sense of what's happened they clearly intended it to be that way but honestly i wasn't too much of a big fan of it so i'm gonna give this one a two and a half out of five stars it has some flickers of great ideas in here they were alluded to those themes but i don't think anything really resonated for me on a personal level so that's it for my review of prime time that's just my opinion how about you guys have you seen this movie let me know what you think on the comment sections down below also if you enjoyed watching this video hit that like button and subscribe to us for weekly content thank you so much guys for watching until then see you on the next one